Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you how to multiply two matrices. So let's consider the matrices A and B, and let's say that we want to compute the product of A times B. So this matrix A has four rows and three columns, therefore it is a four by three matrix, and matrix B has three rows and two columns, making it a three by two matrix. So A times B is a four by three matrix times a three by two matrix. So the first thing that we have to do is to check whether or not we can actually multiply these two matrices together. So to do that, what we do is we write the dimensions out like this, and we compare the two inner dimensions, and as long as these are equal, in this case 3 is equal to 3, then we can multiply the matrices. If these are not equal, then we can't multiply. And then we compare these two outside dimensions, and this would be the dimensions of the product. So A times B would be a four by two matrix. So now let's multiply these two together and let's write this out properly. So we have A times B, which is one, two, three, negative one, two, three, zero, one, three, and zero, four, five. And this is left multiplying matrix B, which is four, zero, one, two, negative two, and three. And as determined over here, we decided that this is going to be a four by two matrix, four rows and two columns. So now what we want to do is we want to fill out the entries of this product matrix. So I'm going to consider the top left entry right here, which corresponds to the first column and the first row. So I'm going to go over to my A and B matrix and I'm going to take the first row of A and the first column of B and then I'm going to take the dot product of these two vectors. And the dot product of these two vectors is just the sum of the products of the corresponding components of each vector. And what I mean by that is if we were to take the dot product of these two vectors, we would have one times four, which are the first components in these both of these vectors, plus two times one, the second component, and then plus three times negative two. And this comes out to be four plus two plus a negative six, which is equal to zero. And then I can come back up to my product matrix and enter in a zero right here. And notice how this position, the first row and first column of the product matrix, directly corresponds to the dot product of the first row and first column of A and B respectively. And now I can come over to the first row, second column of the product matrix. So I take the first row of A and the second column of B now, and I take the dot product of these two vectors, which is one times zero, plus two times two, plus three times three, which is equal to zero plus four plus nine, which is equal to 13. So I can come back up here to the product matrix and enter in a 13. And now that the first row is complete, I move on to the second row, this position right here, which is the second row and first column, so I take the second row of A in the first column of B, and now I take the dot product of these vectors, which is negative one times four plus two times one plus three times negative two, which is equal to negative four plus two minus six, which is equal to negative eight. So let's write in a negative eight right here. And now we move on to the first row second column. So let's, so we're still working with the first row, but now we're doing the second column right here. And now let's take the dot product of these vectors. So we get one times zero plus two times two plus three times three, which is four plus nine, which is equal to 13. So we get another 13 right here. And that concludes the second row. So let's move on to the third row of A and the first column of B, which corresponds to this spot right here. And the dot product is zero times four plus one times one plus three times negative two which is equal to one minus six, which is equal to negative five. So let's throw in a negative five right here in this position. And now we can take the third row and the second column, which corresponds to the third row and second column of the product matrix. And we can do the same thing. We get zero times zero plus one times two plus three times three, which is equal to two plus nine, which is equal to 11. And we come back up here and throw in a, an 11 right there. So now let's get this guy right here. So this corresponds to the fourth row and the first column. And the dot product is zero times four 
plus 4 times 1 minus 5 times 2 which is 4 minus 10 which is equal to negative 6 so let's write in a negative 6 right there and now we move on to our last position which is the fourth row and second column fourth row second column and the dot product of these two guys is 0 times 0 plus 4 times 2 plus 5 times 3 which is equal to 8 plus 15 which equals 23 and let's put that 23 right here so the product matrix is completely filled and we have successfully computed the product of A times B something important to note is that A times B is not necessarily equal to B times A so there is no commutative property of matrix multiplication like we have with regular numbers and we can prove this by considering this example that we have right here our product A times B ended up coming out to be a 4 by 2 matrix like we said here however what if we consider the product B times A here we would have a 3 by 2 matrix times a 4 by 3 matrix and right away we see that we couldn't even multiply these together because these inner dimensions right here are 2 and 4 and 2 does not equal 4 therefore we can't even multiply these two matrices together in this order so that means that there is no way that A times B can equal B times A in this case however there are some special matrices like A and A inverse which does equal A inverse times A but in general this rule holds and it is important to not let yourself get tripped up by uh, reversing the order on accident. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.